Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and it is time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 413. Oh, there is a lot going on in this YouTube. This class is about progression. It is, it's about progression and seeing where you start and then seeing where you end up because most often where we start is nowhere near where we end up and looking at the totality of your work and seeing how you've grown it's so exciting and it makes your heart so happy so what do I have for you this week I have got kits from LDRS little darlings rubber stamps now you're like kids I'm like yes don't worry trust me on this I I got in well, okay let me give you updates and then I'll tell you Updates on the warehouse sale. If you got a $10 Spellbinder die for 25 cents, <laughs> you know who you are. All the warehouse sale orders have been sent out. All the pay later orders have been sent out. So if you chose pay later, anytime during that warehouse sale, a PayPal invoice has already been sent to you. If you didn't receive it, just give us a call and we can take your, your payment over the phone or resend it to you. Or if you don't want to use PayPal to pay the, the invoice, you can go all the way down to the bottom of it and it says you can pay with any credit card or you can give us a call and we'll take your, your payment over the phone as well. So, uh, warehouse sale is wrapping up. All invoices have been sent out whether you were on day one or the very last day. All we ask is that you now take care of those invoices so we can ship your orders out to you. Wahoo ka <laughs> And what else? Okay. The alcohol markers from Aussie Andrew have arrived and are being unpacked and orders are being filled. Some of you have already received notification that your orders are on the way. There is a lot of alcohol markers for us to unpack a lot of them. <laughs> so we are, we are, in fact, it's, it's Michael Jr., my son, who is filling those orders right now. And so he's doing his best. He's taking one order at a time, but we're filling them downstairs. He's working downstairs and then he has to cart them upstairs. So Michael Jr. is working on all of those alcohol marker orders from Ozzy Andrew. And that was with my Simply Defined product. So if and this is the first time we've run them, the first from the first time I showed them, the worldwide launch of them. So if you placed an order during that, just hang tight. We're, like I said, pulling and picking and packing and shipping as fast as we possibly can. Ha! Huh. That brings us up to the storms that have happened from everywhere from Louisiana all the way up to New Jersey and New York. Please know several of our manufacturers were directly impacted by these storms, several of them. Because of this, it is possible that we may have to jump a YouTube or so. You may find yourself getting an order, a, a newer order before you get an older order. That's because some of these companies, they have no power, they have no water, they have some of them don't have walls right now. We have to give them grace. They need time to figure things out to get themselves back up and, and make sure everybody is safe and everything is good and then they will start shipping again. Launches have been delayed from them and so I'm asking that you find grace in your heart for the companies that have been affected and there are many of them. We had product that had been shipped from companies that are now, it's now stuck in a hub and it can't get out. There's no water, there's no electricity, there's the, the roads are blocked. It's just, it just is. So if you happen to get a newer order before you get an older order, that's okay, right? Yay, I promise we will get all of it to you just as quickly as we can. But I wanted to give you a heads up. That storm was awful. And I know what it's like to lose my home. The, you know, they, 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 some of these companies, they're not sure what they're gonna go home to. So if we ever need to show that crafters support crafters, 
this is the time. And if you happen to get a newer order before an older order, the only reason for that is because, well, we have to wait for them to get their product to us. They want to, in fact, one of the emails, I put the order in and the email that came back to me was, oh, Stacy, I was hoping that you wouldn't be sending me your order right away. We're, we're evacuated and we're in another state and we're with our daughter and we'll, we'll get home when we can get home and we'll do what we can. And I, I said, absolutely, you take care of you first. So. <laughs> it just is what it is. <laughs> okay, I have winter, winter chicken dinner to talk about. Are you ready for that? Uh, let's see. All right, so our first winter, winter chicken dinner is Jean. Jean, that was the easiest part of your whole name. Your last name has four letters and three of them are vowels. Now, I know when two vowels go a walk in, the first one does the talk, and so it would be a hard vowel, like a hard A. But your, your, your last name has three vowels right in a row. I'm not sure which one talks. So, Jean, is it Jean Taua? 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 Jean? Doesn't really matter. There you go. You're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You got $25 in your online account. You're going to spend it on whatever makes your heart happy. And wahoo, could chew no matter how well, how well I said or did not say your name. <laughs> Our next winner, winner is, oh, I know this person. Well, I really don't know this person at all. I've never met her, but she's on live chat almost every Saturday with us. We live chat during the premiere of the Saturday with Stacy YouTube classes. So, and that's at 8 a.m. Sunday California time, 11 a.m. in New York, and 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom. So I feel like I know this person, and I really do think we would be great friends if we ever lived in a place that was close to each other. But I have a feeling I'm on this side of the coast, and I have a feeling they're on that side of the coast. But and this also will show you that you don't have to use a proper name to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. If your YouTube username is something unusual, but we can figure out who you are, you're still going to win. So let's all give a round of applause on live chat because I know you all are watching for Jinky Dog. Woohoo! <laughs> You're a winner, winner, chicken dinner, girlfriend. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> I do think we would be such good friends, but we've never met. We've only talked through live chat, and yet I feel like I know everybody on live chat so well. I feel like they are my they are my dearest friends, honest to goodness. All right, so Jinky Dog and Jean, let's do the winner, winner, chicken dinner dance, shall we? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo. Kachu for you. Congratulations to the two of you. You don't have to do anything to claim your prize. Just go to your online account. It's already there waiting for you. And if you want a chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner, easy peasy. All you have to do is post a comment below. Just post a comment below this YouTube. And as long as that comment is kind, polite, generic, I will approve it. And then you go into the chance to be randomly picked for a $25 gift card just has to be something nice. So remember, if you wouldn't say it to somebody's face, you probably shouldn't type it. Just keep that in mind. And gosh, I guess if you're ballsy enough to type it, maybe I should approve it. I don't know. <laughs> but let's try to keep it off of my personal attributes, shall we? That would be A-OK -okay with me. I'm not going to change my laugh. It is who I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. We've got winner, winner, chicken dinner all done. Gave you my updates. Okay, so now the kits. The kits are from LDRS. Angie is the owner. She is a mom and pop shop just like me. I ordered some of her product. We're carrying it in our store and online, and I got some kits in from her. I said, I'll just see what they look, and I'll try them. They came in, and I was like, wow. Okay, love these because they are perfect for every crafter. They are perfect for scrapbookers. They're perfect for card makers. They're perfect for people who are doing altered art or mixed media because you have so many elements that you can take and use for all sorts of things. And then it gives you the opportunity to see the progression of what you're doing, especially if you do them as cards. And 
if you have just begun crafting, if you if this is the first time you've ever seen a crafting YouTube, you can do this. I'm going to start super easy and we're going to get progressively harder. But I got the first two kits in and then I looked at them and I said, oh, I love these. And I called her and I told her I loved them. And then I said, can we have exclusive? Can you do exclusive? And she said, of course I can do exclusive kits for you. So she designed these just for us. Holy smokes artichokes. Two of them. Then I thought, gosh, these would be so good if they had an embossing folder with them. Wouldn't they be good if they had an embossing folder with them? So I went to Creative Expressions and I found some embossing folders that I really loved. And hello, they were at a smoking hot price. So I said, hmm, I'm going to buy all of those and we're going to include it free. So we're bundling it together as a free together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So the kit and the embossing folder for a whoa price. I mean, really. But then, but then I thought, hmm, there's this paper because the girl started to make samples and we had this paper in the store because one of them's a Christmas kit and one of them isn't. So I went and I pulled this paper. This paper is from Memory Box. I pulled two. I pulled these two because this one goes with the Christmas kit and this one goes with the Painted Blooms kit. And I said, oh, this paper is perfect. So I gave it to the girls to make samples. This paper is foiled. Like every sheet, you get 24 sheets. It is double-sided. The back side is not foiled. But every single side of the paper has foil. I don't know if the camera can see this or not. So I called Dave and said, oh, Dave. I really, really, really want to use this paper in a YouTube. Do you have it? Can I buy it? And he said, he sent me an email. Oh, yeah, I've got some of that left. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> so I said, okay, how much? And he said, I said, how much is it going to cost me? He said, what if we did a BOGO, a buy one, get one free? And I'm like, oh, Dave. <laughs> heart love you because the paper pads are eight dollars each because 24 sheets are foiled I mean hello but if you're buying one and getting one free uh-huh uh-huh I know it was great and I want to say but wait there's more but there really is then hero arts got involved and they said because I, I loved the kits and I love their lacquer pins and they said well what if we like what, what if we did the lacquer pins the clear and the the, the glitter we did that special again where they got the free little enamel dots. Would that work with these kits? And I'm like, oh, would it ever work with these kits? So, oodles to show you. Tons to have to do today. We're gonna to start out so simple. And then we're gonna get progressively harder. And you are going to see how you can take something and make it so easy peasy that you can ship these out just as quickly as possible to people or hand these out to people or you can really add your personal touch to it. You can lend your own ideas and your own creativity. They don't have to stay just simple, easy peasy, but if you want them to, they sure can. All right, we're gonna tilt down. We're gonna get started for today. Bye everybody. All right, in I go. Angie's like, exclusive, I can do that. And I'm like, oh. And they're, they're just a mom and pop shop, just like us. So I just love that she, she takes into consideration that we love things that are different. Okay, so samples, let me show you first. Okay, so here is one of the cards, like straight out of the kit. And the kit even has like kind of directions and pictures to show you. So there's a card just done, easy peasy, took like, I don't know, two minutes to do this. And then, Here's our version of it, kind of, kind of jazzed up a little bit, right? So here to here. Hmm. Maybe you like, maybe you like that one better, or maybe you're saying, hmm, how do I do all of that? We're going to show you. Then I have Christmas. Now this will probably be my last Christmas YouTube for the year. So I want to make sure that we get these to you in plenty of time for you to do them and send them out. So this is the last one of the year. Simple, straight out of the kit, to scrapbooking made simplified. 
I can't say I be stacy fied it because I didn't make this card. One of the girls did, but my gosh, SMS girlified. So from straight out of the straight out of the kit to taking it up a notch or two. Both of them are fabulous. But you have options. Okay. I think I'm going to start by talking about the kits first. And this is it. This is the kit. And inside, you get a ton. I think I'm going to back up just a bit. You get a ton, and I do mean a ton, of die cuts. You also get a package that is filled with background type papers and sentiments and, I mean, tags and labels and everything that you're going to need to put the cards together. So you've got your your tags and your labels and your sentiments. I'm gonna have to find a place for this stuff. And you've got all of your little die cut embellishments that are gonna add just that right touch onto it. Oodles and oodles and oodles of them. So this is all gingerbready, but not everything's gingerbready. Look at just the holly leaves, Christmas trees. Holy smokes, there's a lot of this. Okay, then we have all of your card bases and envelopes. So yes, card bases and envelopes come with it. And these kits are meant to make 15 at least 15 cards out of one kit. Or, my gosh, I can't even tell you how many layouts you could get out of it. So we've got the A2, it's a straight A2 card base, and the envelopes to go with it, along with your guide. Kinda, this is what we did, this is what they put together, this is so this is LDRS saying here here's here's where we started and then you can follow right along and do just what they did or you can do a little bit more you can you can make it your own so that's the first kit and again these are exclusive to SMS just have no idea where I'm gonna put all this stuff and then our second kit in fact, let me scooch that over and move that over. Our second kit is Painted Blooms. And it's the same thing. So I have got the beautiful, beautiful die cuts ready to go. They are so pretty. All the painted flowers and the, I mean, they're just, this is just beautiful and then I have all of the layering pieces and your words and your sentiments and all different shapes and all different sizes and tags and just everything that you're gonna need to get started And then I have the follow along sheet where they you can just follow right along, copy exactly how they've done it. There's nothing wrong with scrap lifting. If you're new, this is where you might want to start and maybe make a few cards just like monkey see monkey do but by the time you're done you line up all 12 cards and my gosh i bet your progression is amazing so that's what we're going to start with today and we're going to keep it super simple and then we're going to build and build and build like i had mentioned i found some embossing folders that i really liked to go with them with the painted blooms i have two different embossing folders from creative expressions and you are going to get one of these with your 
with your card kit. I can't tell you which one you're going to get because they didn't have equal amounts. I couldn't buy enough of this one or enough of this one. So it's just a random. You're going to get one of these two with your and with your card kit, and it's free. So that's good, right? With the Christmas one, I was able to get enough of just one embossing folder. And I was able to get, isn't that so cute? And again, that's going to come free with your Christmas kit. And that's $6.50, so that's a nice value. Plus, we're putting the Christmas kits, which are normally $29.99, we're putting them on sale at 20%. No, I think it's, I think we're doing the whole thing for $24.99. I think it's what it is. So like with the Christmas one, you get the Christmas kit and the embossing folder. I want to say it's like $36 for $24.99. Easy peasy. So where do we want to start? I think we'll start with the Christmas is where I think we're going to start. So let's grab some of the card bases. All right, card base, easy peasy. Then you bring over your, your little toppers and you just start designing. You start laying them out and seeing what it is you want it to look like when you're done. And again, they've given you opportunity. They've given you some ideas on that cheat sheet. It's really a matter of what works best for you. What do you like? Gosh, I think they're so cute. I love the little, I love the little flag tags and Maybe I can go hmm which color? No, I like that green. But that green can go all the way across the bottom. So maybe I do it this way. Maybe I go here with that green along the bottom. And I've got some of my little little die cuts here that I can then decide what I want it to look like. Or do I like it with that green across the bottom? It's kind of cute, right? Let's see. Do I want do I want trees? Or gosh, the little gingerbread guys are so cute. Oh, look at how cute are the little gingerbread guys. So cute. And do I have, I know that there's some holly in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. So just like that. Just like that, I've made a card. I mean, it was that simple. I'm just taking the different elements that I get and laying it out there and doing it. So let's let's put this down. So I'm gonna work with my sticky dots and I'm just going straight onto the card base. So up to you how you wanna put them down. Gosh, I don't even know if I need the green underneath. Oh no, the green makes a difference. Yeah, green makes a difference. So I'm going to trim this off just a little bit at the top. Just go. Zoop. I'm going to save this because it coordinates with everything else. I'm going to put my green down first, and my green is already cut to the right length. No cutting necessary. I've got my sticky dots, which is an adhesive sheet of paper. They've got hundreds of thousands of little dots on them. So I'm going to put that down. It makes everything an instant sticker. So if you are using this with, my gosh, what a great idea for senior center, for church, for schools, because each kid, each child, each uh, senior, uh, whomever you're working with, they all can get a card and you can put this stuff out kind of out for them to to pick and choose from and make it their own and then they get to take it home and give it to somebody that they love. So here's my little flag tag. Now the only thing I cut 
was some of that flag tag off. This is straight from the kit. So I'm going to put that right here. Then I loved my little gingerbread guys. And put them down. And rub, rub, rub. And my little piece of holly for a little corner. And last but not least, my sentiment. How long did that take? right? Talk about easy peasy. So you get to make 15 like this if this is what you want to do. You want to keep it simple. You want to just go for it. Absolutely, without question. But what if you want to take it to the next step? Okay, you're like, but that was so quick. We barely even got through that step. All I did was lay down the pieces that they gave me. All I did was look at what they gave me all the little bits and pieces and all the cute little die cuts and embellishments and picked and choosed and laid it out. No cutting. The only thing I cut was that top. So let's go ahead and let's do it again. Only let's take it up a little bit. Wow, there's a lot in these kits, tons in these kits. If you're, if you're very, how do I want to say this? If you're thoughtful, with your embellishments and the paper they give you. I, I, I'm sure you can get more than 15 cards without a question. So let's put this one to the side and let's take another card base. And this time, this time I want to do a little bit more. So maybe I, maybe I have my season's greetings. And I take that to there and my season's greetings and no, I don't know. Gosh, maybe I just, maybe that's all I want to do. Maybe I'm happy with just that, but you're like, oh, that looks very plain. Okay, well, we can take it and we can make it a little bit more than it is. So I've got my Hero Arts inks here, my little cubes that are exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple. The cubes are sold individually. We're the only ones that have them. I can certainly take and add some ink. And just kind of go around around my card base so here's my card front I'm just going to add some some ink to it just to add a little definition and take away a little bit of that white but remember what I said if you're thoughtful about how you use your embellishments Chances are you can get more than 15 cards out of here. And we're really not changing up anything. We're just adding some color to the white card bases that they gave you. I was so happy that they came with the envelopes too because not all card kits will come with the envelopes. And I think that that's so, so important. Okay, so I've added a little ink. Maybe I get it a little darker around the corners. And this is my Aussie Andrew Couture Creations blending brush. I know a million different companies have them now. I really like it because it has the little hat. It has the little cover on it. And I haven't seen that by anybody else. 
now, now I can take and it just took it from something really, really simple to something just a little bit more. Gosh, I could even do, look at that, gingerbread wood. But nope, let's keep with what we're working on. Go with what you got. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put this down. Bring over my sticky dots. Put that there and bring over my season's greetings. Now I could take some of the Hero Hues little dots because these come as your freebie when you get the lacquer pins. I could take some of these and just kind of add them as little elements, maybe in the centers of my little them there up to you just to add another little element still keeping it very simple maybe this is your first time playing So now I've just added my little dots, my little enamel dots on there. And again, if I wanted to, I could come in and find maybe a few little pieces. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, that works for me. <laughs> That's just darling. Put it down. And Again, super cute, super easy, done Christmas card. Straight out of the box, didn't add anything to it. This time we inked around, kept it very, very simple, but we can continue. What if we took, let me wipe up my ink. I'm in a white shirt today, don't know how smart that was. But what if we took another card and what if we did here? Look at how that fills up the whole front of the card. And then we did uh, do, 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 do. let's see what does this one look like? We did that, and we did Okay, look at how cute and simple is this. 
I may take and just kind of fussy cut. Well, I'm going to put it down before I do that. So let's go ahead and put this down and bring over my sticky dots. Down. Now you can use double sided tape to put this down. Uh, glue if you really want to, but that takes a really long time to dry. I like that my sticky dots go a long way and it's instant gratification. You have an opportunity. You know what? I think I'm going to put before I do that. So you have an opportunity to peel them up. I'm going to put this piece down. First, before I stick that one on there, I'm going to I'm going to put a little sticky on this one and get this one done. And the reason I did that is because I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off that little back. I'm just going to take my scissors and follow the little scallop. Hopefully I can scallopy it. Am I close? Yeah, good. Now I'm going to put this down. And then I'm going to put my Let It Snow. Right on it. How long do sticky dots last? As long as there's dots on there. My Let It Snow here. And boom. But Let's take it up a little bit. What if we took the, uh, the lacquer pens from Hero Arts? So this is very much like a glossy accent, only it dries really, really fast. They have one that is crystal clear and they have one that is glittery. So what if I came in here and I, with the glittery one, no, maybe with the crystal clear with the crystal clear. It's got a nice fine tip. I just kind of put little dots in my centers. Now I could do this also with the little epoxy dots that I'm getting, but I can just put little little dots in my centers. And then when they dry, it'll be a nice dome. What I also like about it is that you can come in and add the gloss. So I've put it on the let it snow. I put it on the little floors. And as that dries, it's going to become glossier and glossier and glossier. And I can be done. I don't have to do any more than that if I don't want to. I could come in with the glittery one and put little glitter dots on those polka dots. And again, once it dries, it has a glitterous to it. You know, I think the best way to show the glitter is on like the candy canes. So this one, I just added a little bit of embellishment to. And when these little dots dry, they're going to dry to a glitter finish while this is going to dry to a clear finish. So let's put that off to the side so I don't put my hand in it, but not too far away so I lose it. 
How about right there for now? And then let me grab another one and let's do let's do a one with some candy canes. So what do I want? Gingerbread kisses and milk mustache wishes. Is he too, no, he's not too tall, but. Let's get some candy canes in here. That's cute on that side. in a bath. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? I put that there and that there and my sentiment there and maybe a little holly there. But I wanted a candy cane in here somewhere. Think long, think wrong, Stacy. Maybe that's what's throwing me. No, I really do like that. Okay, I'm thinking too long and long and wrong. I'm just gonna put stuff down and we're just gonna go with it. So. this down towards the bottom. Oh, and I could have him holding the Well, that's kind of cute. And a bunch of these little guys kind of falling or maybe up at the, oh yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, I'm good with that. I changed it, sorry. <laughs> but they're so cute. All right, let's put him down. Now, should we ink this or should we leave it? Should we ink it? Just a little bit. Look at it, I didn't even pull any ink up. This is what's left on my brush. Should we ink it or should we leave it? Well, we inked it now, so we're not leaving it. Okay, so let's move him down here. And let's put him right here. So cute. And then I've got these little, these little candies. Tons of these little tiny candies. So, oh, nope. One, two, three, four, nope, none there. Four, five. Do some little tiny candies.
I'm good. Done. Now I can take the glitter and on or the clear, either one. On the clear, I can come in and put little a little bit of clear on the gingerbread guys where their little red hands are to almost make like it's royal icing. So it's got that high gloss of a royal icing. And I can just color it right on in. It's got that fine tip. So I can just add some of this. Now it's gonna come out kind of milky. And then when it dries, it dries to transparent high gloss. So wherever I see that red, and I want it to kind of look like royal icing with that high gloss finish I can go in there and do all of these little dudes but then I can also take so I've added some of it to some of my little guys I can also take my glittery and the glittery I can put right in on some of that candy and a little goes a long way. You're gonna kind of move it around and it dries quicker than a stickles and it'll dry transparent with the glitter. And a little goes a long way. So I'm just putting a little daub and then using the tip to move it around. So the pin lasts for quite a while because you're not going to, you don't have to put a lot. And I can move it around and spread it around with that nib. And then let it dry and the little hands are already starting to dry can you see the gloss on the little hands and on the little feet and then the the candies have got the glitter on them but you could have 15 cards done in a matter of an hour it's going to take you long like me it's going to take you longer to figure out what you want where but it's all cut for you it's all done it's all ready to go you want to just pull it straight from the kit you want to add a little something something. You want to add even a little more something something. Easy to do. You've got this. I'm going to put this one over here too because I want it to dry. Then we have the embossing folder that goes with it. So the embossing folder is from Creative Expressions. It's the same little candies. Wasn't that like perfect? Now how does an embossing folder work? Well, easy peasy. Oh, I want to keep those separate from my pretty flowers. So I've got a whole pile of Christmas over here and a whole pile of flowers over there. So let's grab a piece of paper and an embossing folder. What this does, it is it goes through a, a die cutting machine. Now this is a little over five inches wide, so I'm not sure that this will fit through a cuddle bug, but definitely a Big Shot, a Big Kick, a Big Shot Plus, a Big Shot Pro, um, tons of uh, die cutting machines, except for the cuddle bug, definitely not a side uh, sidekick. This is going to push the two sides together with the paper in the middle to force an embossing. It is one of the easiest ways to add texture. Easy peasy way to add texture to something. So bring over my Big Shot machine. I'm going to be using the platform that you're going to get currently with your Big Shot machine, which is your base plate. It also comes with a solo shim, so if you're die cutting wafer dies, you would use that. But today we're just doing embossing, and it has instructions on how to do the embossing. Here's an embossing folder, and it's going to show you how to do it. So put my platform down, put my paper, and send it on through. Oh, I didn't put my clear plate on the bottom. Platform, clear plate, embossing folder,
clear plate, do not cut plate, whichever you want, because an embossing folder does not cut into any plates, and send it on through. It's going to roll fairly easy. Might even feel like it's not doing anything. Oh, I'm getting lots of little buzzes. <laughs> but look at what it does when it comes out. Can you see the texture and oh, can you see the texture and the dimension? So I just took a plain piece of paper and easy peasy one, two, three, turned it into this. Now, what can we do with this? Well, we can cut it down, absolutely. Mat it onto our mat it onto our card base, and we have added instant texture. And then we can come back through and pick what we want. A big joy. Hmm. Or maybe a big happy holidays. Gosh, that's cute just by itself. cute is that? A little bit of texture. So let's cut that mat down just a little bit. Bam. Let's get some sticky dots. Put my happy holidays down. Double-sided tape. I can use some double-sided tape for this one. You would do a better job of taping than I am. I'm just going to get some tape down here. And now I have to decide, do I want the emboss or the deboss side? I want that side. Embossed paper has two sides. Look at both sides and see which one makes your heart the happiest. Put it right on down. Put my mat, my my happy holidays right on down. Take my little guys. Put them right on the side. And you're done. And now you've added the embossing to it. So we have made, gosh, I don't know how many cards. We have made my Let It Snow is almost dry. And you can see the little glitteries. And my cute little, uh, my cute little glitter candies are coming through. So in no time at all, we made quite a few cards and still have tons and tons left over, but we're not done. Let's put this one back. Oh yeah, see those are dry. Those are dry. Done. If that was stickles, they'd still be wet. Yeah, good. Love it. Yay. So let it snow goes over there and hopefully you can see the little shinies on there where it looks like 
hot where it's high gloss and that can go over there and these can stay here let's try again let's do something else let's take that embossing folder and let's roll it through one more time so my base plate no no solo shim my cut plate or do not cut plate which is a clear plate my embossing folder and then one more do not cut plate or cut plate because you're using an embossing folder and it doesn't cut into it doesn't matter what plates you use you're not going to harm them you can see this one's got lots of cuts in it from dies that i've cut again and again and again whereas this one ideally doesn't have too many cuts in it because i'm using it as a plate that stays flat it allows my die or my embossing folder to go through my machine a little bit smoother because over time the plates will start to warp. So I'm trying to keep one plate from warping by not cutting into it. And roll it through. And done. Now with this one, I'm going to cut it in half because I've got an embossed side and the embossed side is the side where the image is raised up and I've got a debossed size now our side now the image is pushed down in so you always have two sides when you're embossing an embossed side and a debossed side you're like I'm not sure I'm with you Stacy that's okay Let's go ahead and color some of these. So what if I took my, I'll take my royal red, and I just took it right over the top. Now, you can clearly see the pattern. And look at I just made my own paper. And then let's do it on the debossed side so you can see the difference. Up, down, emboss, deboss. What a difference. What a difference a side makes. Now this is taking the ink straight to the paper. Then it's up to you. Which one do you like better? I don't know, I like them both. And then you can start to build your card. But all I did was add ink. Mm. There we go. All I did was add ink. And now I can start to build my cute card, however it is I want to build it. Little doggy down here off to the side. And gosh, do we have, do we have a little sentiment somewhere? That's a little big. But my candy cane would sure look cute with him. So now you start to build your card. But you have, you have two sides to choose from. Do you prefer this? Do you prefer that? And then there's always the taking the item. Let's see. How about this one? What if we took that tag and we put that tag inside our embossing folder? Okay, 
so I want to make sure that I go up. I think I'm good here. Let's try this way. See what we get. Well, and then I'll do this one this way. And let's see what we get. Run it on through. Now I'm taking what they gave me. Because I, I, I only have white paper, some ink, and the, the product that came in my kit. And now I've got the image there. And I have the image here. Let's see, do I have a sanding block? This is, oh, I do. Here we go, sanding block. Take a little off the top. Because the paper is white core, which means that the design that's on this paper was printed on this paper. It started as a piece of white paper, and that means we can sand it. So I'm using Ozzy Andrews Sanding Block Tour Creations. We can't get a sanded gadget anymore. This is what we can get, and you can't interchange it, but it does come with different grits. It's very much like you would get at a nail salon or a beauty supply house. But you do get different grits. Ta-da! Look at how easy that was. Look at how easy that was. Look at how easy this is. And we're just using what we were given. To make something. Pretty darn fabulous. Do I want anything else on here? No, maybe I don't want anything else on here. Maybe that's all I want. Or maybe I like the red one. Oh, I like the big Mary and Bright. How cute is that? And just so easy to do. Options are plenty. The kits are easy. They're economical. I, it, it's $25 for 15 cards. So if you were giving a gift, let's say you don't want to send these out. What if you wanted to make all these cards? And then December 1st, you put December 1st. You put five of them together and you tie a bow around them and you give them to your friends. You've got the envelopes, you give them the envelopes too, and then they can send. And this is their Christmas present. Then they can send handmade cards to people. It's a thoughtful, thoughtful gift. And if you're making 15 cards, that means you're doing three gifts for $25. That's a pretty good value when you're out buying gifts. What if you don't do embossing? That's okay. Somebody in your crafty circle is going to have, going to love a, an embossing folder in their stocking stuffer without question. So 
the Christmas is so easy to use and I didn't even get into the beautiful foiled paper. This is kind of like, yeah, this is just so pretty. You just have to have it because it's just so pretty. That's just the way this paper is. It is double sided, but the back side is not foiled. The girls used a lot of this to make the samples. Just beautiful. All right, let's move to the other kit. Let me put these to the side. I don't want to lose them. Put those there. And let's move on to the painted flowers kit. So I'm going to gather up all of my Christmas. And it's a lot. This is all the stuff I haven't used yet. Well, not that one. But these are all the pieces that I still haven't used. And they're everywhere. Angie gave you so much that, that options are definitely a plenty. And that if you are using this for a craft, for a church or a, a youth group, then they have options. They don't have to, I mean, you can lay it out and, and nobody feels like they didn't get to make exactly what they wanted to make. So cute. So let's bring over the painted flowers, or the painted blooms, I believe it is. Because they're just beautiful. So the colors, the colors are so lovely. And again, sentiment after sentiment after sentiment, tag after tag after tag. Background, look at how pretty is this. And we can do the exact same thing. We can start so simple. All of the die cuts. We can start so simple. And put on a background. And put on a... maybe a sentiment and a flower and instantly you've got a card. Don't want your beautiful, you want let's celebrate. All right, let's celebrate. Look at how easy these are. So many beautiful options here. So let's take that off and let's put that on. Hmm. Do we want to use this one? So if we put that there, and we put that there, maybe we can put it center, put that there, and then a sentiment somewhere, thankful. The options are yours to, to do, but I want to take these up even a little bit more. So. The first thing I want to show you really quickly is about using a blending brush. So we were playing with the Hero Arts purples or the blues, I guess, whichever colors you want. Maybe I can do a couple of these. I want to show you that if you only have one ink, you only have one blue, you only have one purple, you only have one pink, that is okay. You're not, you're not limited to just what that color is. So the pink, there's my pink. There's my purple. There's my blue.
you're not limited to just those colors if you have blending brushes. So let's start with the purple. I've got my blending brush. Go into my ink and start at the top. And I'm kind of starting on my mat and then coming in. Starting on my mat and coming in. And look at how deep and rich is that purple. But then, then I'm going to start to kind of soften up on my color. So I'm going to dip it in, but I'm going to dip it off too. I'm going to kind of spounce it off a little bit and lighten up on my color. So I'm going to tap it, but then I'm going to kind of tap it off and lighten up on my color. And then I might just grab some of this and use that as my final color. And now you can see how one ink pad gave you so many different hues all by how much I tapped off and the pressure I used. What if I did that blue? So pretty, that blue. So let's bring over my blue. I've got my blue. So I use one brush per color family. One brush, I don't have to have a blue for my, my pool and then another brush for my cornflower and then another brush for a sky blue. If it's blue, I'm using my blue brush. And how do you clean them? There you go, until it's clear, until it's clean, I'm good. So my purple, if I wanted to do a different color purple, I would just do that until all my purple came off. And then I'd dip into my other purple and away I'd go. But we're gonna do the blue. Ooh, do we like the cornflower or the pool? Well, I did pool here, so let's do that. So I'm gonna start kind of dark, because I wanna show The progression of color that you can get. So full strength right onto the paper. And I'm starting kind of off the paper and then coming on. So I'm starting off here and then coming on to the paper. Now I can start slowly lightening that didn't that wasn't so slow when my lightening so we'll go a little darker slowly lightening my color out so I'm still adding color but I'm making sure it's just a little bit lighter than what I had at the top And then at the bottom, I almost can pick up what's on here and use that to finish my bottom just so you can see the gradation. Okay, a little bit more at the top just to darken it up really good. And you can see, one ink pad doesn't have to be just one color. You can tone it to what you need it to be. So when I was playing with these, 
I mean, I can do the same thing. I can definitely take my purple and kind of go around just to add some color. So I'm trying to keep it kind of light. I'm tapping off quite a bit. And then I'll go back in and I'll just pick up some of that color that I tapped off. And before you know it, I took my purple, my white paper, and I changed it. And then if I want to, I can come back in and really darken on some of those edges if I want to get some more depth perception. Because darkening those edges is what gives you that depth perception. And I'm just going to add, and I'm just going into what's on my, what's on my craft mat. I've got plenty there. I just keep picking it up and bringing it on over. So now I've added some depth perception, but this is still a very beautiful shade of purple. And then I can go in and just start adding, adding pretties. But I'm going to use my embossing folder more with this one. And with this collection, there's two embossing folders that you can get. So you may end up with, depending on, it's just a random, a random draw. The bundles, we're pre-making the bundles, and so you may end up with this one, or you may end up with that one. If you buy two, you may end up with two of this one, you may end up with two of that one. We'll try not to do that if you were to buy two. We will try not to do that, but you know, it's, it's just, we grab them as quick as we can get them out. So I have two embossing folders, and you'll get one of them with your, with your uh, Painted Blooms kit. So I'm going to use the embossing folders a little bit more on this one. And I think I'm going to start with kind of the rose trellis looking one. And I'm going to use a couple inks. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink up well, you know what? Let's run this through just so you see what it looks like with no ink on it. How about that? Let's start this with no ink. Bring it on over. Put my little hat on my purple. And send it on through. So again, a big kick, a big shot, a big shot plus, a pro, an older Sizzix Fabby machine, or a, a Vintage machine. These are going to go through just fine. A Cuddlebug machine, not so much. A Sidekick machine, absolutely not. Uh, one of their little boutique machines, no, this is too wide. All right, so am I off center? Get it rolling and ooh, it's not going. What do I have? One, two, three. Oh, maybe I should pull it just a little bit down just so it's able to grab the plates. Ah, there we go. Wow, that was a hard getting over the hump. All right. There we go. Ooh. Don't know if you can see it. So I'll do... I'll 
do just so you can see a little better. There's one side. There's the other. Same embossing folder. I just, this is the side. I inked this side and then I flipped it over and inked that side. Look at the difference. But they're so pretty. Look at how beautiful that would look against it. How pretty that will look against it. But what if we ink up the embossing folder? Let's ink up the embossing folder. So I'm going to open my embossing folder. And this time I'm going to add ink to both sides. Now, I know a lot of people out there only ink one side of their embossing folder. I always ink two sides. I know some people will ink both sides and put two pieces of paper in so that they don't have to choose which side. I'm good with choosing. So I'm just going to ink up my embossing folder. And gosh, maybe I'll use this one. This is lemon yellow. Ignore the color of that lid. That looks not lemon yellowy. But it really is a lemon yellow. It's so pretty. Let me just make sure my color's true. Yep, my color's true, which means I haven't blended anything else into it. And can you see the ink going on the embossing folder? Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. And let's do this side. So I always start with a base color and do the whole folder. And then I might come in with some of this color and kind of hit it. And you're like, but won't that hurt your, your pad? No, as long as you then, next time before you go to use your pad, once the color goes true, you're good to go. And then last, maybe I add some of the corn flour. I don't know, time will tell. have no idea what this is going to look like. They never look the same. Get my corn flour to run true. And then it's good to go. So let's put my ink in there, or my paper, and close it on up. Now, like I said, some people will do two sheets of paper. That way they get both imprints and they don't have to choose. I'm okay with just doing one piece of paper because I don't mind if I don't get both at the, you know, to use one later. I might not like both sides. So I'm good with just doing it through one piece of paper. And let's bring this on over and down. And then my do not cut plate over the top. And let's see what we get. And oh, it's, see, it's on that parallel and it just wants to hold on. There we go. Once it gets over that speed bump pump, we're okay, but wow. That's what you get with new embossing folders. Holy smokes, artichokes. Okay. So here we've inked. 
and here we have inked. So now it's a matter of which one do you like better. You have options. You get to choose. Does this one speak to you? Or does that one speak to you? And once it's done, can I add more color to it? Sure, if I want to take my blending brush and come in and add some color to it, I absolutely can. But then I'm at the place where I didn't do a good job cutting, but that's okay. We'll just make it an accent. I'm at the place where then I can start to decide what I want my card to look like. Hmm, do I have something maybe in the green in a sentiment? Easy to do and pretty, pretty. Do I want it with more color? Then I can do it this way. Up to you. I can use this piece for later. But what if I only had white paper and I want it not to have a white floral look? What if I don't want the flowers to be white, but I only have white paper? Okay. I hear ya. Let's clean this up real fast. You've got white paper, or maybe you want everything to coordinate, so you want to do it all in your inks. I hear ya. Let's clean this up real fast. So the ink is dye sol uh, a dye-based ink, so it's going to come up. It's water-soluble. You may find that your embossing folders get stained sometimes. If you really want the ink to come off, like you don't, it, as long as the wipey is clean, I mean, as long as when you do it, you don't have any more yellow coming off, you don't have to worry about the inks contaminating each other. But if you really don't want your embossing folders to be stained, just take a little bit of alcohol, spritz it, and then wipe it, and the ink will come off, and your, your uh, folder won't be as stained. Ink is what it is, and over time, it's just going to happen. doesn't bother me any, but I understand it could bother you. Now, what if we took... Oh, what if we took the... You think we can do it with the... With the well, let's try with the corn flour. So I'm going to make sure that this is clear. Okay, no more yellow on it. So I'm going to ink up with my corn flour. And I'm going to do both sides. Now this is if you have white paper and that's what you're working with and you want your inks to blend, you want them to look good together, you want everything to coordinate together. Okay, so I've got plenty of ink on there. Take my paper, you're, but wait, you're not adding more and more ink. I know I'm not. Close it up. Oh, I've got a little dust bunny there. There we go. Let's close it up. Bring over my machine. And send it through. Maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe that'll 
go through a little easier because it's not hitting that hard line as much. Let's try this way and see what happens. And there we go. Look at there. So an embossing folder is kind of like, oh, but then I have my plates crooked. An embossing folder is kind of like a good pot that you cook your stews in. The older it gets, the better it is. So my plates, my plates were off center. So I knew I could feel it getting harder to go through. Once I center my plates, much easier. Ooh. So you got that big thump at the end because it hit that edge. No worries. That's so pretty just on its own. But what side do you like better? You said, but Stacy, you said the flowers aren't going to be white. I don't want white flowers. Okay. What if I take the debossed side where the flowers are blue? And the debossed side means that the, um, that the image is depressed into the paper. On this side, it's lifted up. The image is raised up. On this side, it's depressed in. So a debossed side. And then I took, let's say, the pool. So I used the corn flour to do it. Then let's take the pool. And let's take the pool right over the top. So now the pool is hitting everywhere the paper is white, but it can't hit where the paper's debossed in. The pad can't get down into that debossed image. So do you want everything to coordinate with your ink? Now I have blue flowers and not white flowers. I've got blue flowers and a blue, dark blue background. So here, here's my blue flowers and I added my pool and I was able to do this. What if I turn it over and do the embossed side? What's going to happen then? Let's see. So I have now made the flowers dark, but I left the background in that light color. All I'm using is white paper. It's all I'm using, but I made my own paper, which I can then bring over. Man, that sure is pretty. And let's see. Oh, that one's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's put that down because that's beautiful. Let me straighten this up a little bit. some tape. See, I'm covering up the other side. I'm okay with that.
Stacy, make sure the card base is going the right direction. And then this can go all the way across. I'm just playing with white paper right now. But look at the dramatic difference. And then I'm utilizing everything that they gave me. In the kit. And in no time at all, if I wanted to, I could even take a little bit of blue oh, I'm picking up the purple. Still a little purple on my table, but that's okay. We're going to just do it. Woo, girlfriend, I am off center, but that's okay. And then we could take the sparkle. I want the sparkle glitter. Ooh, and I could put some there and just kind of dab, 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 dab. That feels like the sparkle clear. That is, that's the sparkle clear. All right, we'll do a few clear. And then when these flowers dry, they'll have that beautiful glossy finish to them. And then let's do the other ones in the sparkle glitter. Ooh, little dab of my sparkle glitter. Little goes a long way. Oh. All right, I like the glittery ones. We're going to add a little glitter to this one. A little glitter to that one. I like it when they glitter. Because it's there. But it's not. Look at how easy these are. And I made my background paper. This was white paper. That's all this was, was white paper. And it's so not white paper anymore. Not anymore. And look at the beautiful card I just popped together. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. And I have got all of these backgrounds to play with. I mean, this just looks, this just looks beautiful against that. This just makes my heart happy. I could trim this out and mount it up and put a saying with it. Options aplenty. Gosh, I could even put that on there. And then that, uh-huh. Options aplenty. But there's another embossing folder that you may get, and I want to show you that one. Let's put these all here. I don't want to lose those. And let's grab the other embossing folder. And I've got my card here. <sighs> Yay! I'm not going to throw any of these away because we'll make cards and donate them to the, uh, to the church so that underprivileged youth get to go to church summer camp. Yes, ma'am, that's where it goes to. So let's grab the other embossing folder. And this one also is pretty unique in that you get a couple different options with it. I'm going to run it through just plain. Lids, 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 blue, blue. Good. I'm going to run it through just plain. Let's see if, see, because it has this edge here going against the roller. Sometimes it's a little bit of a thump to get it in there. But that's okay. The 
older your embossing folder is, the more seasoned it is and the easier it is to use. See, I'm not straight. Oh, there we go. Oh, can you hear that? See, this is a brand new embossing folder. So it may cut through my paper. Did you hear that? It almost sounded like it was cutting. Brand new embossing folders will do that. An embossing folder is a molded piece of plastic. So when it pops out of that mold, it's got super sharp edges. Oh, but it didn't, it looks good. Look, can you see this? So plain is beautiful. Plain can be absolutely gorgeous because that's what you can then embellish on top of. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's do that. Let's grab a card base and let's kind of cut this down to size. so pretty just the plain embossing folder so I tried to pick embossing folders that I thought would go with this kit and like I said we have two different ones because I couldn't get enough of, of, of one and they only had uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that so that's what I ended up with is that too big oh yeah that's too big let's trim this on down So white on white, piece of Stacy tape. You would do a much better job than I am. Remember, I'm I'm freehanding it. You would use a trimmer. Down it goes. this one across and oh, so pretty now I'm just utilizing what's come in the kit with the exception of the white paper and the embossing folders when we get to samples we're going to show you as it came out of the kit oh Stacy that was way off center as out of the kit and what we've done to them. And then maybe a little here. I could use pop dots to put this up. And now all I need is a little sentiment. Do we have a little one in here? Little sentiment? I do. Let's see, is that the one I want to use? Got another little sentiment in here. Oh, these are so pretty. All of these little flowers just make my heart so happy. There's stuff everywhere in this kit. Oh, what's this one? Do we want, oh, I think I like hope. So white paper, the plain embossing folder, didn't ink it or anything. And maybe I get rid of the little flag ends, fish tail ends, cause I've got it. did it upside down. Shh, don't tell anybody. <gasps> Can I get it off? Shh. 
SMS girl Yvette would be proud of me. She passed away. But she's looking down on me going, ha, you did it too, Stacy. There. Ta-da! <laughs> How easy was that? But let's go more with the embossing folder. Let's really play with that embossing folder because it's pretty wonderful like the other one. What if I inked it? Ooh, let's take, let's take lemon and let's take um, some lime and let's take the blue. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Lemon, maybe the pink and the blue. I don't know. Let's just try. What can it hurt? So let's do the, the yellow. And then maybe, you know what, maybe we'll do, we'll do the, the, the light pink. Oh, the bubblegum pink. What? It's only paper. It's only paper. A little bit of bubblegum pink. It's only paper. And then how about a little bit of the purple? It's only paper. And then let's put our paper in and see what happens. And let's send it on through. Okay, roll, roll, roll. Hopefully I'm Hopefully I'm straight. See, it's getting easier. The more I use it, the more that embossing folder goes through easier and easier. Ooh, I love it. Hey, do you like this side? Oh, see, don't love that side at all. That's a boo-hoo. Not crazy there at all love this side yeah that's not working for me there not so much no but here yeah gosh I wonder if there was something still on there because that's a blue but there was nothing on there oh <gasps> I used the piece of paper that had blue on it why didn't she tell me so Stacy I'm like how did that blue get on there all right let's do this again I know I didn't hear you <sighs> Oh, so close. I'm like, how did that blue get on there? Well, I like the front side. I'm not going to throw that away. We're going to keep that. I like that front side. But this time, since we have that front side, let's let's change up the back side. So let's do, let's do the yellow. And let's do some green, the mint. Always start with your lightest color first, and then we'll add the cornflower and see what we get. Who knows? Let's cut us a piece of paper. This time it's clean on both sides. I'm like, how in the heck did that happen? Put it in. Close it up. Send it on through. straight. Yes, straight. And a kathump. <gasps> oh, look at 
how pretty is this? Or do you like that? You choose. You have options. But remember, we did this one over here too. Totally different look. We could use that as our card front. We could use that as our card front. We could use that as our card front. But I'm gonna roll this through one more time on plain paper. So let me wash it and roll it one more time through plain paper. Because I want you to see the difference. So it's just a baby wipe. It's all I'm using is a baby wipe. Okay, I think we're good enough. Close enough. Give it a second to dry. Let's put a piece of plain paper in there. Let's cut this down just a little bit. And send it on through. I'm like, but why are you doing plain paper again? Because I want you to see the difference and the options that you have. If I had lots of embossing folders, if I had two embossing folders, I would want to know what's the maximum amount of things I can do with that embossing folder. made a loud noise. <laughs> Machine's fine. I'm fine. Holy smokes, artichokes. <laughs> okay, so I'm back to having a plain embossing folder. <laughs> wow, that made a noise. That was more than a thump. Now, what if I take my inks? So I want to keep this one. I want to keep this one. We'll put those off to the side. What if I take my inks and ink on top of my paper as opposed to what I did before? So what if I take my ink and this time I ink up in front on my paper? Do I want to start with my, my yellow? So what if I don't want to roll it through? Make sure that color goes clean. little bit of my blue. Let's chop this down just a little bit. So this time I didn't send my embossing folder through with my ink. I'm inking up after the fact so I have a little bit more control of where the ink goes.
But then there's my back side. Which is right. Oh, I did the whole thing. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I did the whole thing. That startled me so much I forgot to cut it. Yeah, see, well, I suppose I could still cut it and try. Or I could use this piece right here. See, I saved it for a reason. So this is my debossed side, which means that the image is going down, which is why the ink inked everything except for the white. However, this, when you ink the folder, this is my debossed side. These two sides are the same. The image is going down into, I can put my fingernail into that image and it's going into the paper. This one is going into the paper. But here, I put my ink on my embossing folder and that's what it did. It put the ink into the deboss. Here, I just sent it through and then inked afterwards. You have options. But then what if I do it on my embossed side? So let's grab my ink because here is my embossed side when I sent it through my Big Shot machine. So if I had embossing folders, I would want to run them through and ink both sides, and I'd want to run them through white and then ink both sides to see what look it is that I get. Okay, so debossed white paper and then inked after it was out of the embossing folder. The embossing folder inked and sent on through. The embossing folder inked and sent on through and this is the embossed side. The embossing folder sent through on white paper and then inked. Can you see? that none of these, none of these are the same. They all give you a different look. All four, these don't look the same. They're different. These don't look the same. All different images created with one embossing folder I use the same color inks all the way around, or we just leave it white. You have options. You have options, and then you have all of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful embellishments and paper to start working with. You could do a whole bunch of embossing with all different colored inks and then take it to the church social or the youth group. I could go, no, my, my, they're going to go that way. I mean, it just can be as easy as that. Or you can start, you can start layering beautiful, beautiful pieces all around. Start 
layering and making it your own. All of these are so pretty. Yes, all the little pieces. Look at all these little beautiful pieces that you get with this. To make it your own. But with the embossing folder, what background do you want? Grab your embossing folders, grab some white paper, grab some ink, and then go. And then you have all of that to use in conjunction with all of the pretty things. Ooh, maybe I take this one. Ooh, maybe I take this one. all of the pretty things to go with. They're so fun, they're so easy, they're so universal. It really, it really just makes it really just fabulous <laughs> because you don't have to, if you struggle with, my God, if you struggle with what you're gonna do, what colors you're gonna pick, what's going to work with what, this gives you the opportunity to play and to see and you're you're only going to use what you have in front of you white paper inks your embossing folders you're only going to use what's in front of you i want another one that's long i'm looking for another one that's long oh that one's short but that one sure is pretty i think i used the other long one Sure is pretty. And all the colors are meant to coordinate. Everything's meant to go together. I could come back and do, do that flower. Oh, look at that. And then I could have these coming off the sides and up around the tops. And I, I mean, it's just amazing. But when you have white paper and an embossing folder, you have a world open to you to then take what manufacturers have put in kits and utilize it even more. White paper is a beautiful thing. Gosh, I could just, I could even take a piece of paper and just ink it and run it across or run it down or run it around. So we've done so much, so much today. I do, I want to put this one down because it's just so pretty, but do I want to put it on that blue? Just so sweet. The little flower up here. And then oh, I'm looking for two flowers in the same color scheme. And then oh, 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 oh. And then a little, just two flowers on the side. Oh, just so sweet. Yes, it is. You are so loved. Yes, you are. That in the center. Move that down a little bit and have the flowers on either side. In fact, you can move that down, move that up. Options aplenty. But look at how those colors look so beautiful together. All right. So we did a lot. We did. We, we started out way back when. 
when we were just doing the holiday ones. And see, look at it, it's all dry, and look at they've got the shiny on them. And using the embossing folder, just plain. And inking the inking the card base straight to the card. Oh, I did that one upside down too. <laughs> inking the card base. <laughs> And literally straight out of the straight out of the kit and a little bit of glitz and a little bit of glamour and a little bit of bling absolutely so we started there and then we started to develop and work and experiment and try and play and see what was going to work for us and use those embossing folders to the best of our ability. And we took and made paper out of our embossing folder. So we, we were able to get rid of the white. Maybe you don't want the white. Look at the blue on blue. And that was by using a lighter color, a lighter color ink down over the whole thing, send it through so it inks it in just one color, and then coming back and rubbing a darker color over the top to see what you get. So that's what we started with. But then you can do so much more, so much more. And the kits that give you an opportunity to be creative without having to overthink. I struggle with paper, so when I have to go pick paper, it's hard for me. But when everything is here and I know everything's gonna work together and all I have to do is decide how I wanna lay it out. And if I wanna throw in an embossing folder, I can. And if I don't want to, I don't have to. I'm still gonna get a beautiful result every single time. Absolutely. All right. Oh, I made a mess, but that's okay. All right, so what do we have on sale? Well, I didn't, like I said, I knew I probably wouldn't get to show you these, but we do have the two. A lot of the samples are made with this. So thanks to Dave at Memory Box. I hope you all take advantage of the pricing. Buy one, get one free is a big deal from Memory Box. It really is a big deal. And this is the most beautiful paper. And it will be the last Christmas. I, I do believe it's the last Christmas YouTube I'm doing for the year so that we get these to you in time for you to make Christmas cards with. Although the painted blooms, it, they're just, it's all year round. It's just beautiful. So buy one, get one free. The, you buy the bundle, it's $8 and you get both of them. If you want just one or the other, you can do that too, but you're not gonna get the same discount. Then they're just 20% off. We've got the love this. I love this because I can just go right in right over the top and embellish my, this is the clear. I can go right in right over the top. Oh, I should use the one that I opened, Stacy. Clear and put some down. It dries faster than a glossy accents. I can either move it around with my little nib and I can add a beautiful gloss finish so that my die cuts don't look so flat anymore. They now stand out. So I can use the clear. I can go in with the glitter. Just to add a little bit of sparkle. I don't even have to do the whole flower if I don't want to. And before you know it, you've taken a flat piece of paper that's been printed on and changed it into something wonderful with hardly any work at all. Love the glitter one, love the sparkle one. So Hero Arts has put together the bundle for us. You get the, each item normally is $4.99. So the bling and the so the little dots, oh, I should show you really quickly. So with the little dots, what if you have alcohol ink markers? What if you have alcohol ink markers? They're on their way, they got here. What if we went in 
and we wanted to change them from clear to pink or clear to red. All we have to do is color over the top, give them a second to dry, <sighs> takes it a second to dry, and then I instantly have pink little dots. Or I have red little dots. They don't have to stay clear. A Sharpie, a Bic, a uh, Couture Creations. I wouldn't use your Copics to do that if you've got Copics, but the Couture Creations for a buck ninety-nine on those pins, absolutely. So these are four ninety-nine, four ninety-nine, four ninety-nine, four ninety-nine. You're going to get all of it for nine ninety-nine. Thanks to Hero Arts, we appreciate that. Thank you very, very, very much. Then we have the kits. Well, I have the Hero Hues. So all of the Hero Cubes. There's twenty-four of them. SMS has them exclusive until, I think, January of 2022. So they're $2.99 and then 20% off. We're the only ones who have the cubes open stock. That way, if you happen to have a four pack and you've used up all of one cube, now you can get, <laughs> if it's one of the 24 colors we have, now you can just replace that one color. That is so nice. And then we have the kits. So Painted Blooms is kit number one. And with it, you are either going to get linear leaves or you're going to get floral stripes. One of these two embossing folders is going to come with it. The kit normally runs $29.99 and then the embossing folders are $6.50. So that's $36.50. We're doing the entire, the bundle, the one kit and the one embossing folder for $24.99. And then we have the gingerbread one, which is so darling. My gosh, if you've got kids or grandkids or nieces or nephews and you want a project for them, you're visiting, this is it. This is so, they could do these on Christmas Eve with you and then put every, give everybody a card when they're all done. Go deliver it, hand deliver it right there while you're having you know, Christmas Eve dinner or Christmas dinner. And you're going to get the embossing folder to go with it. It's, it's as good as building a gingerbread house. They really are. They're easy to do. They're thoughtful. The kids love them. And, and it's instant gratification because then they put it in the envelope and then they run up to grandma and give it to grandma right then and there. And there's just nothing better than that. Okay, so that's what's on sale. Let's show samples. So the way we did the samples, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with the, the well, I'll start with Christmas. We'll start with Christmas. is that we did easy and then a little bit harder. So same type of layout, same similar embellishments, and then we jazzed it up just a little bit. And then we have easy, so this is like right out of the kit. There's an image to show you just how to do this one. And then we took it up a bit. This is that background, only we ran it through the embossing folder and sanded. So right out of the kit, Stacy-fied, SMS-ified. <laughs> so here we have, both of these are just straight from the kit. See, look at how cute is that? And then we have straight from the kit and SMSified, taking it up a notch. This, this may be, you may be going gaga over that, and this might not be your taste. The beauty is you have options. Here we have straight from the kit, and here we've taken it up a notch. So we inked the background in a gray and put a little glitter on it. Which one works for you? Here we have straight from the kit. 
And here we have blinged up a little bit. Which one works for you? Here we have straight from the kit and blinged up a little bit. Look at that, there's that paper. It's beautiful paper. So straight from the kit. And again, here's, here's his paper. I'm blinged up a little bit. So this is the memory box paper, non-foiled. She didn't use the foil side. She's got foil going on over here. And here we have straight from the kit and blinged up a little bit. And there you do see the foil paper. So maybe this is what you're about and maybe this is what you're about and maybe you start here and end up with something more like that. You just don't know until you start playing. Oh, this paper is gorgeous. Okay, straight from the kit. And again, there's the memory box foiled paper. And this is one where we've, we've added a little something too, right? Looks great. Straight from the kit and a little something more. Straight from the kit and a little something more. And there's that foil paper again. Straight from the kit and a little something more. Straight from the kit. And this one is straight from the kit. So both of these are done just as is. So all of this came right out of the kit. Then we have painted blooms. Straight from the kit. Look at how, see, I was looking for that little piece so I could put those on. Look at how cute is that. Straight from the kit, look at how darling is that. And here we've taken it up a notch. And here is straight from the kit. And here we've taken it up a notch. Honorary SMS girl Katie took the paper, made the paper, and mitered the corners. Actually, I think Renee might have made the paper, but Katie mitered the corners to make it look like a frame. Look at that. That's so pretty. This is the foil paper. It's just so pretty. So straight from the kit, and woohooed! Look at the seed, look at these florals straight from the kit. And then, oh, both of these are straight from the kit. Look at that. Both of those are straight out of the kit, as is this one. And then here we have straight from the kit. And here we have jazzed up and little pearls all the way around and popped and embossed and just there's the embossing folder. And here we have straight from the kit. And here we've taken it up a notch and then there again is the beautiful paper from memory box. And here we have straight from the kit. And here, we, oh, look at that. That looks good, huh? So we've taken it up a notch. That's beautiful. And straight from the kit. And our version. See the foil paper? Just adds a little something. And gosh, both of these are beautiful. This one is straight from the kit. This is beautiful. And this one equally is easy, but look at how we changed it up a little bit more. That's so pretty. Straight 
straight from the kit. And then our version. So you may very well look at all the bling around the whole thing. You may very well start out so simple. When I talk about progression in the beginning, it's because I think lots of you may start here. And as you work your cards, you might find yourself ending up in a different place than you started with. And it's so much fun to then lay them all out and go back and see the progression of your creativity. You started here because that's what you knew to do. But then two cards in, you thought, well, what if I had a little bit of this? Or what if I do a little bit of that? And that's where the creative part of you comes out. And you've got it in you. I know you do. Oh, is that beautiful? So this one isn't straight from the kit, this one is. But with just a little bit of this and a little bit of that, look at how pretty is that. And then look at how simple is this. Elegant, beautiful. And then if you wanted to take it up a little bit, the embossing folder. And again, simple, easy, Beautiful, done. Sometimes done is really important. And here we've gone and taken it up. Okay, and then I said I wanted to show you these two. So we also, because you get the envelopes, we did the envelopes. You get envelopes for all 15 card bases. So here we've just embossed. Here we have embossed and inked. Here we've embossed and put little glitter dots down that are stickers. Look at how cute is that? Just finishing off the envelopes with those embossing folders. They're coming with your kit, so you might as well use them. And then I did say I had layouts. So I think this is Elena's layout. Pretty sure that's Elena's layout. And she's taken all the bits and pieces. I think these honestly were the leftovers from the making the cards. She took the bits and pieces and the leftovers to make a layout. Can you imagine how many layouts you could make with one kit? You could do an entire scrapbook with one kit. And this is Claire's. Now she took two pieces of paper and married them up. So she cut the six by six into, I guess, maybe thirds, or maybe that's three inches. And then she just married them up to get the whole border. But here, look at, she's got the embellishments. She's got the florals. She's got the tag. Really nice. All right, you guys, I'm gonna tilt on up. I don't know, man, I, I that, that, that. <laughs> I'm fine, the machine is fine, it just went kathump. <laughs> I don't know what I did, <laughs> but it made a noise. Holy smokes, artichokes did it make a noise. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. So, like I said, some of this is exclusive. The kits from LDRS are exclusive. They are a one-time deal for us, and so I hope you liked them. I really appreciated them making them for us. She designed them. She put her heart and her soul, Angie, job well done, stunning. And then, and then to have them at such a wonderful price for as much product as you get in there. And then just to send it a little over the top, I threw in that embossing folder for each kit, just to add a little bit over the top, just in case you wanted to kind of zoo. So those you can only get from us. Those are exclusive to us. The Hero Arts Lacquer Pins, they are widely available just about everywhere, but for that price for the lacquer pins and the little epoxy dots, again, that's us. But if, that, if you've got a local retailer who's selling that lacquer pin, go buy it from them. The Hero Cubes are exclusive to us. Um, 
I'm trying to think of what else we have in the, oh, and the memory box. So the memory box papers, those two paper pads, you may be able to find it at your local retailer. And again, if you just are looking for one of them, buy it there, shop with them, give them the revenue, please. But if you're looking for both of them, we have it on a buy one, get one free. It's packaged together as the I want it all at 50% off. So it is me, Stacy, scrapbooking made simple, scrapbooking made simple.com. Oh, with a, I hope you had a good time. I loved doing this class. I did. There was so much to think about and so many options. And I could have just built card after card after card. Or you could just do layout after layout after layout. You do you. Because what you do is beautiful. I promise you it is. And everybody who gets a little piece of you, well, you're giving them a heart. Whether your heart, whether it be a, a card or a mini album, or a piece of altered art. You're giving them a little bit of your heart, and I know that they appreciate that. Okay, I will see you guys all next week. I'm Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you then. Bye!